Hey guys, welcome to the University of North Dakota. My name is Jerry. I'll be your guys' tour guide for today on today's virtual tour. Um, we're sorry that you can't be here in person with us today, but we're really excited that you're able to be here uh, virtually. So today's tour, we're going to kind of cover some major spots on campus, um, our, our dining center. We're going to bring you into our library and some of our academic buildings. So if there's additional information that you like about the University of North Dakota, feel free to visit our website at und.edu to kind of find some more information regarding that. So we'll go ahead and head this way. Um, and head over to our, our uh, Wilkerson complex, um, which is where our dining center is at, as well as some of our residence halls over there that we have. So our residence halls here at UND um, are all going to be co-ed. Um, the ones that are connected to this complex here, there's five of them, those are actually going to be our suite style residence halls. And so we have the suite style and we also have our more traditional style residence halls. So with the traditional style and the suite style, um, they're the same price. The only difference between the two is with the suite style, you're going to have four, four roommates instead of just you and your roommate. So you can check out uh, more information on those and take a virtual tour on our website as well. So we'll head inside Wilkerson over here. Uh, Wilkerson is going to be where our five residence halls are at for our suite style ones. Um, also inside of here is our dining center and some other amenities that we have um, going on that we'll check out. So currently we're in the Wilkerson Commons complex here. Um, straight down this way is one of our tunnels. So that tunnel actually will bring you to three of our residence halls. We have another tunnel that will bring you to the other two. So that'll connect you to two of our tunnels. Our mailing and service center is right here where your packages and mail will come to. Our IT is right around the corner there as well for students. This is stomping grounds here. It's one of our on-campus coffee shops that we have where you can utilize your dining dollars um, for any food or drink item that you'd like there. We have some really nice study spots over here. You can see some of our students studying here. Um, it's, it's really nice for them to eat, hang out, watch TV and whatnot. Over here we have some additional study areas, um, some TVs that, that will have games on or you can watch a movie or television there. We have charging outlets underneath all of our, all of our benches here, um, which is really nice and convenient for our students to be able to plug in and go ahead and, uh, and, and do their homework there. A lot of group study work gets done down here as well as individual. Some of our um, offices that were in our union that we're currently um, getting a new memorial union are moved over here, such as our student government office. So currently we're in our dining center right now, which offers our students a lot of different dining options, including a salad bar, an Italian bar there, um, a Dakota home style, an allergen-free section. We have a global cuisine and a kind of a dessert bar too. So our freshmen have two options uh, to choose from for a meal plan. They're both anytime access, which allows our students anytime and all time access as long as the dining center is open. You also have those dining dollars that I mentioned before, which is an addition onto your meal plan um, that you can use at any of our coffee shops or on-campus convenience stores. Dining here at UND is an awesome way to get socially interacted with people. It's a great way to meet new people and share a nice conversation uh, with your friends, family, loved one, and roommates. Next, we're going to head kind of towards down to the library. Um, and we're going to point out some different things on campus along the way there. So right here on this side of campus now are going to be all of our more traditional style, style residence halls rather than the uh, suite style ones. One of our sorority houses is right here. We actually have seven sororities and 13 fraternities here on campus. All of them are very active um, on campus and within the community. Straight down Princeton Street right here is our American Indian Center. That promotes a lot of our great diversity and culture that we have here at UND. They run a couple different events on campus throughout the semester that really gets everyone included. At the end of Princeton Street is our wellness center. And our wellness center is free for students to utilize. There's group exercise classes, there are cooking classes, intramural sports, a lot of great ways to get involved. The wellness center actually back in 2017 ranked number one as the for, as the best wellness center in the United States um, and currently we rank in the top 25 for healthiest campuses here at UND. So we're now we're in the Chester Fritz library here so we're going to go ahead and check out some of the features that we have in here. 
The Chester Fitz Library is actually North Dakota's largest library, so we have a lot of awesome resources in here. Um, currently, we're kind of in the final stages of some construction updates, uh, which is going to be great for our incoming students because all this will be finished by the time that you guys get here on campus. So some of our updates here that you can see, um, we got new study areas here, so really expanded. We got new furniture, we got new carpet, new paint. It's really awesome uh, that we kind of expanded where we had a lot of our a lot of our textbooks and stuff, and we made it into study spaces for our students to utilize that. So we'll kind of see that here as we're walking over here, um, and then we'll go ahead and show you one of our computer lounges, some of our IT desks that we have, um, and some of our great online resources here at UND too. So we're on the main floor of the library here. Over here is um, kind of our, our resource desk that we have. And so uh, right here, a great resource for our students is to utilize our online database search, which is great for our students um, to kind of find those, those certified articles for, for research projects. So we have our computer lounge over here, so if you didn't bring a computer up to UND or you forgot your computer, you can feel free to utilize that. Um, we have our librarian's desk right here. They're very helpful individuals that are willing to help you find that resource. A lot of great study spots kind of scattered throughout the library. We have our printing stations and scanners over here too, so you don't have to bring a printer to UND if you don't want to. Um, and then finally in the corner over there is our one button studio. That's kind of a nice spot um, where you can do, if you've taken an online class or if you need to use it for a Skype or a Zoom meeting, you can go ahead and reserve that and, and check that out. So now we're gonna head outside of our library here um, and kind of head over to some of our academic buildings to show you guys what those look like. Yeah, so right here we have a nice quad area. Um, so a lot of students out here will do um, a lot of studying in the springtime, in the fall when the weather's really nice out. They'll play frisbee out here, catch with the football, um, and kind of just hang out in this area right here. Over here is our law school. So UND is North Dakota's only law school and med school in the state, which offers a huge uh, benefit for our students who are interested in those programs. Behind me here is construction of our new Memorial Union. So that's set to be scheduled uh, to be finished in the summer fall of 2021 for our students, which is going to be awesome. Inside of the union are going to be some expanded study and meeting spots for our students. Uh, we're going to have some, some restaurants, some retail offices, our student involvement office will be in there, as well as some other um, important offices that were previously in there will be put back into the Memorial Union for us. Next, we're going to head into O'Kelly Hall here um, and show you some of, our, some of our academics buildings and rooms that we have. So we're in O'Kelly Hall right now. Right here is Stomping Grounds, another coffee shop where you can use those dining dollars at, like I had mentioned before. Behind me is the Math Active Learning Lab. This is an active, inter this is an interactive lab um, for our students to kind of get more one-on-one -on -one time help with their math if they need to in additional tutoring. Right here we have some nice study spots that a lot of students will kind of review their notes before class or after class, especially heading into um, O'Kelly Room 61 here, which is our scale-up room. A pretty popular class for freshmen in here would be Intro to Biology. So we'll head in here and kind of check out, check out this, uh, this lecture hall here. It's a really unique way to learn inside of this scale-up room here. So as you can tell, there's uh, TV screens kind of all throughout, so the professor will put their PowerPoint notes up on the, up on the screens. Uh, he or she will walk up and down the aisle and kind of lecture that way. It's really interactive, like I had said. You're sitting at groups at tables of nine people, and so you get a lot of group interaction, which is great, um, because when you get out into that real-world career job, you're going to be working as a team. So UND really promotes a lot of group work here, which is awesome for our students. Next, we're going to head over to the education building, uh, show you one of our larger lecture halls, and then a smaller style classroom, too. So right here is Abbott Hall. This is where all of our chemistry classes and chemistry labs will be held at. Right here is Whitmer, where physics and math is at. All of our engineering buildings are gonna be on the south side of campus here. So as you can see, everything's kind of in a big square for our students. McCannell Hall is straight back here, um, kind of behind me here, that's where our student health service office is going to be at. So that has a full uh, pharmacy inside of there. It functions just as a walk-in clinic. Inside of there is also our veteran and military services, our counseling services if you're in need of that, as well as some additional tutoring. So next we're going to go ahead and head into our education building, check out one of our larger lecture halls and a smaller style classroom. 
So we're in the education building right now. We're gonna head into lecture hall room seven here of the education building. Um, so this is one of our bigger lecture halls here on campus. It holds roughly 200 students. Um, so pretty popular classes in here would be like an intro to psychology, an intro to sociology, um, some of those general study classes that you might have to take as an as a incoming freshman. Sometimes guest lectures will come over here as well as a final test might be moved into here for accommodation as well. Um, so we do have a lot of classes that are held in a larger style like this. We also do have smaller style classrooms um, that we're going to head to next and we'll show you an example of one of those. So the average class size at UND is 24 students, um, which is really nice to get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with your professor. So whether you're, likes, you're someone who likes to have kind of a smaller class like this or a larger class, you have the option for both of those. Um, in my experience taking larger classes and smaller classes, the professors are very helpful. Um, whether it's through their office hours, email, or phone numbers, they're definitely able to be contacted very quickly. Another option that we do have is online classes. So actually 41% of on-campus students here at UND last year took an online class. Um, and it just kind of offers a little bit more flexibility for your schedule if you wanted to take that or an additional class you can take it as well. Um, so online is definitely a way to learn here at UND too. So next we're going to kind of head out uh, this building and we're going to check out our um, One Stop Student Services office which is located in Twomley Hall. So Grand Forks is a really big college town, so the university and the town are really connected. Um, and so they let us know about different opportunities that are going on uh, within the town and also with on campus, really to try to get students kind of involved um, with different events, different volunteer opportunities as well. There's a lot of student employment opportunities here if you're interested in working either in the town or within for the university. And so uh, a lot of these are, you can work at the, at the wellness center, the bookstore, the library, um, catering, parking services, kind of any option that you'd like to work as a part-time job, that's available. We also have a lot of internships uh, through the career service and career services that will, uh, they, they kind of set those up for you and they really promote that to help out our students who are interested um, in a summer internship as well. UND has over 41 countries that you can choose to do uh, study abroad if you choose to if you choose to do that, um, and so a lot of students will will go kind of early on in their college careers while they're taking some of those general essential studies classes. Um, once you get further into your into your program, it gets a little bit trickier to take those classes over there. But a lot of times, it's a great way to, uh, to kind of get involved um, on campus and in other countries as well. So we're in Twomley Hall right now, which houses our School of Graduate Studies as well as our Career Services. So Career Services is a really awesome resource for our students uh, who are kind of getting ready to graduate and go out into the work field. Um, so they'll help uh, proofread your cover letters, your resumes, they'll do mock interviews with you, they'll help set up your LinkedIn account for you, um, and kind of put out some feelers for future job openings uh, around the area. So we're going to check out One Stop Student Services, which is also inside of here in Twomley. Um, and in One Stop, uh, it's kind of a one stop shop, it's in the name. So the design of it is so that you don't have to run all throughout campus to get those questions answered. You can just go ahead and stop right here. Uh, you can make an appointment to meet with them in person, you can give them a phone call if you're doing online or in your dorm room, or send them an email. So questions such as uh, tuition, scholarships, uh, your student ID card, uh, any kind of questions that you have registering for classes or any questions or concerns about being a UND student, this office is a really great resource here. Behind me here is Merrifield Hall. It's a really popular hall to have a classroom in. It's home to all of our English classes, our composition, um, public speaking, and religious classes. So if you're taking it one of those classes, that's where that would be housed at there. This kind of wraps up our virtual tour. We're really happy that you were able to join us for this. We'd love to have you here on campus for an in-person tour sometime, if you're able to. If there's questions that you have regarding the university or want more information, please visit our website at und.edu to check out all of our majors and programs that we have at as well as additional information. Behind me here is the eternal flame. It's a symbolic to UND for uh, the guiding light that guides us through your success from the first time that you step foot on campus to your graduation and into your success as a professional. The legend has it that if you walk under this eternal flame, you'll be granted to graduate in four years. Thank you for joining us and go Fighting Hawks.